Médecins Sans Frontières works at 10 rural health centers in the district of Chihadzulu in Malawi. This is the Namitambo Health Center. It's an hour and a quarter drive from the district's main town. The cohort of HIV positive patients receiving treatment here is 5,000. Chiradzulu is a very rural district and 80%, if not 90% of the patients live in the villages uh, far from the central uh, hospital di district where the main laboratory is. We know that transportation is difficult. There is no buses, they come often on foot. So the closest we can be to the patients and the closest the laboratory can be to the patients the easiest it is for the, for the patient. In 2005, MSF decided to decentralize patient care, and most patients are now followed up at health center level. Measuring effectiveness of treatment requires viral load monitoring. Until recently, this test was only available in specialized laboratories located in large cities. MSF could only send a limited number of tests and we were obliged to target only patients with suspected treatment failure. With SAMBA, viral load testing will be performed routinely to detect treatment failure early. The benefits of such testing are twofold. Firstly, staff can assess any treatment adherence problems quickly and react accordingly to increase the chances that the patient will become undetectable. And secondly, it allows to diagnose failure before the emergence of accumulated resistances. The SAMBO viral load test is a good example of what we call a point-of-care test because it can be used in the health centres where patients receive treatment. Results are ready on the same day as patients consult, avoiding them having to go repeatedly back and forth and reducing the number of patients lost to follow-up. What's more, this one-stop visit concept relieves pressure on health facilities. Here, by having the laboratory and the measurement of the viral load close to their home, uh, it's, uh, it's a way of success for both the treatment and um, the adherence to treatment. The patients can receive uh, in the same place the clinical consultation and uh, the measurement of the efficacy of their uh, treatment. What is also important is that uh, it helps us, it will help us furthermore to simplify the program. Simplifying care is crucial in settings where there's a severe shortage of health staff. Samba viral load test provides a semi-quantitative result, thus helping to quickly identify patients for whom treatment is working well, that is to say patients with a viral load below the threshold of 1,000 copies per milliliter. For these patients, we uh, expect to uh, implement a kind of a drug supply, drug refill, every three months, and um, because they don't need to be, to be seen so often by medical people. And it will allow also uh, to, to spend much more time uh, with the limited human resource that, you, that we have, that, that exists in Malawi, to, for the people who, who themselves are not uh, below 1,000, so who do have problems to take properly their treatment or who are failing and to see them more uh, deeply with a longer uh, consultation. A team from Cambridge University developed SAMBA, taking into account MSF field team's prerequisites and specifications. When we started to, uh, to discuss with uh, the uh, Cambridge University, we really asked for a very robust machine because we know we know too much that um, uh, the, the laboratory are, are in general a cemetery of machines which are left uh, broken in a corner. So 
For us, one of the main things was the robustness of the machine. Adding to that, uh, the cartridge do not, do not need um, uh, refrigeration, so it, it is really made for uh, field use. Yet another benefit of the Samba test is its simplicity. And then I put in the cartridge B2 again. The Samba viral load test is a two-stage process. First, RNA is extracted from the plasma of the collected blood, and then the HIV-1 RNA is amplified. I twist it, remove this, and then push the buffer, and then twist it again, and then the test strip falls down. And then... The result is read visually on a dipstick. We will use it at six months, at the beginning of the treatment, uh, because it allows to detect the, the, the patients who do have problems at the beginning of their treatment, to, to, to put their treatment into their usual life, and we can intervene earlier enough to uh, work on this adherence difficulties, and for most of them, we expect them to render them undetectable. The test will then be performed routinely once a year. This will help the teams identify patients who are failing, that is to say the most vulnerable, and more time will be spent with them to try to address the reasons for failure. Children, adolescents and patients who are already on second-line drugs are particularly at risk and need closer monitoring. <laughs>